beautiful 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 i'm i'm just amazed to have the support and that also that we can meet in different parts of the world and like be intimate together it's just it just warms my heart very beautifully i'm here now with Yvette and i'm here with Raphael and you're in different parts of the world of the globe so mm -hmm. you will you will introduce yourselves and also say where you are possibly and um, and something about your first reflection now having seen the the a peek into that the book is happening Yvette you want to go first <laughs> yeah sure um, so right at the moment I'm in the North Island of New Zealand in a uh, small farm town called Teniatua. I don't think I said it right, but <laughs> it's yeah. Maori. So I always find it a little challenging to get my tongue around it. Mm. Um, yeah, and I'm in transition at the moment, I suppose, in from the completion of one aspect of um, the chapter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> And currently in a, in a bit of a bardo state, suspended in time and space. Um, mm. And just, yeah, in, in the unfolding of life. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, the book. So I suppose firstly, like how we met. So Matilda and I met at a, like a conference, I suppose you could call it. <laughs> yeah, core gathering. In the middle of the gathering. Desert. Yes. Yeah. Um, in Israel. Yeah, it was in Israel, yeah, in the oh, desert. It was yeah. a uh, yeah, beautiful time and mm. of community coming together. And, yeah, it was a sweet interaction mm. meeting you. And mm. I remember us having a conversation actually about relationships. Yeah, we did. Um, beautiful, deep relationship conversation. So it's um, quite poignant that we're having this conversation <laughs> about your book. Yes. Um, there's just a bit of noise here. I'm just going to ask Regan to stop mowing for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a sec. Sure, do that. And it's so it's so amazing how how to bring people together, like how how we met, mm. Raphael. Yeah. And how Yvette came into my life, and and to bring you together, which have not met and share. It's so it's so exciting how we can talk about like intimate things, even though we have not, you know, prepared very much or built something before, but that it's possible to be that honest and beautiful. It's wonderful. Yeah, and as you say, I love the how connections come together and how people meet and how yeah, friendships and relationships develop. Mm. And this extraordinary way also with the internet to be able to meet, mm -hmm. you know, in these times when we're not supposed to meet kind of, and when, when distance really all of a sudden kind of in a way disappears, you know, we can be on different sides of earth. So Yvette, to complete, what did, you have now peeked into the book a little back. <laughs> Yes, back. Say hello to Regan also. Yeah. Um... yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure uh yeah I think the main thing for me like that jumped out right at the start was just the realness like the rawness of what you were sharing mm. um being quite personal you know mm. so and I I really appreciate that journey because I've as you know like I just finished well I haven't finished writing a book but um mm. a fair way through and it's quite exposing. Like there's no way around writing a personal story without personally sharing your life experience. Mm. So I really felt those tender parts of you, like exposing mm. um, herself mm. and talking about something that is so intimate, you know, around relationships. And there's so much that's um, shifting and changing around relationship dynamics and particularly in the circles that we move, you know, there's a lot of exploration of different types of relating and, yeah, and falling into some kind of identity. And then, yeah, so, like, I could really feel so much of what you were sharing was um, quite, yeah, personal mm. yeah, and from the heart. So, mm. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I appreciated that glimpse mm. into your intimacy in your intimate life. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. And that's like the whole aim in a way. That's like to take masks away and kind of give away the, the experience of that my body is having and see if I can like just share, share that as well as I can. That's like the aim. And well, I feel like that's the only way that we can like as humanity move forward as a collective, actually. Like I really do believe that we're moving from this place of the individual I into more group orientation and how to stay in the eye within that group dynamic and it's a um we're in that transition again like as a collective so it's a it's a tender time and I feel like the only way that we can actually move forward is to share more of mm -hmm. our hearts and our vulnerabilities and our realness and not just the flaky storytelling or theory about how things should be, but actually embodying and living what we're learning mm. is the only way we can integrate as human beings, you know, is to have the teachings, the body, the emotions all coming as one and then sharing. So mm. I really appreciate what you're doing. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Thank you so much for, for being here. We're going to share some more exciting things afterwards. Raphael, please, if I can invite you to introduce yourself. So my name is Raphael. Um, I always feel strange trying to introduce myself. It's like, where do I begin and where do I end? But so I'm just going to share mm -hmm. what's moving in me in the present. I think similarly to you, Yvette, I'm in a, I feel like I'm in a time of transition, like many areas of my life are, are in flux. Um, and there's a lot more uncertainty than I'm used to handle. And um, I don't know, if did you speak about surrender at some point? But that, that's a theme which is really coming up for me. And it's a word which gets mentioned a lot. And I feel like I am starting to feel more into it. And it's very much about being okay, leaning into his comfort. So that's kind of an emotion I'm carrying and have been carrying for the last few weeks with various ebbs and flows, but, um, and I'm calling in from Glasgow, mm -hmm. 10 p.m. So it's dark and cold and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly jealous of New Zealand. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and we met at a workshop that you were actually organizing, Matilda. Yeah. Uh, to, how long was that? To nearly three years ago. Yes, in yeah. Iceland. In Iceland. Yeah. So, and I was quite, I was really surprised and also like quite touched when you invited me to come and mm. have this chat. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So, so when you peek into the book, what is your first like reflection of having now read just one chapter? We will talk more about the content, but like a reflection of. So the, the first thing that hit me is, so I opened the chapter, it's like, oh, five pages, you know, like quick read. But actually, the, there's so much in those five pages, mm -hmm. which I'm really, I really treasured. Um, I find sometimes you read books and you, you read the whole chapter, you're like, I don't know what I just read, like, there's nothing in this. But this is like the exact opposite. There's five pages and there's just so much mm -hmm depth and you, you throw in a sentence and you don't necessarily explain you leave it up to the person reading it to really feel you you don't want to explain you want people to feel you and that's quite apparent and mm. yeah I, I I'm looking forward to reading your whole book as I told you before we started it, it's just um <laughs> there's a lot in there mm. short summary mm. um Great. and a lot that it gave me well to feel but also to just reflect on mm. so mm. yeah mm. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for peeking in there. And thank you both of you for this introduction. And we, we will share some more. So we're going to complete this part and we're going to do some more sharing. So thank you for this part. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>